So we're at the uh, the last week of spring 2020, introduction to business. What a very strange semester it is, thanks to the COVID-19, uh, should be the COVID-20, we'll always remember this is a 2020 phenomena, uh, the, the, the COVID-19 COVID pandemic. Um, so it's really just down to me now to, uh, to draw a few conclusions. Um, I'm not going to draw any conclusions about business as a whole. I'm going to draw some very specific conclusions, though, about uh, what the pandemic kind of has revealed uh, about business and the kinds of businesses that are surviving, the kind of businesses that are struggling. Uh, obviously, our very last to topic, uh, operations, and has a very strong risk management uh, component. A year ago, I'd never have thought that uh, we would have had to be uh, confronting this truly once-in-a-generation uh, shock to our economic system, our business system, our social, our educational systems. Um, clearly, uh, this has been uh, a disruption of a scale beyond what anyone had imagined. And yet we do see that uh, many businesses, many organisations have been able to adapt quite effectively in the circumstances. And it's often said that a crisis uh, reveals a lot about individuals and organisations. I think one of our very clear conclusions is those companies that were already well advanced in terms of embracing uh, information communications technologies, ICTs, um, that had already created good computer systems, uh, were using cloud computing, were moving towards a situation where staff could work anywhere, accessing documents securely, where there was already a HR culture of flexible work, they've been more easily able to adapt. Those offices where everything is still paper-based, still in files, where someone has to go to a shelf and pull something out and flip through the documents, suddenly when people had to work from home, uh, when you've got social distancing for example, uh, those organizations are in a very bad way. Lots of things just simply stop. So what we've actually seen is that throughout the world, some companies, some organizations have been very pleasantly surprised at how they've been able to make the transition to remote working, for example, digitization, um, having relationships with their clients overwhelmingly through virtual means. Of course, for universities, this is ever more confronting. The very logic of the university has been predicated on this notion that we come together in the campus that to some degree is separate from the rest of the world. It is its own very distinct, unique, neutral space where people can come together and freely share ideas, faculty members, you know, researchers, members of the community, and most importantly, students come together in this collaborative learning environment. I, th I think uh, our transition to doing this online has been patchy. Uh, it uh, has been a forced learning process for all of us. Uh, I do hope some positives will have come out of this. Um, I'm very influenced by a scholar called Douglas North, who I've only seen speak once. Uh, he passed away a few years ago, but he was into his 90s when he came to Waseda University and he gave a lecture here. Professor um, Min Shu was also there by chance, and he and I both said it was one of the most uh, intellectually inspiring moments of our lives. Um, Douglas North is very famous for his, well, for much work, but his late work, when he was well into his 90s, well into his 80s, um, focused on the notion of adaptive efficiency. Adaptive efficiency. Uh, companies, organizations, societies, and people who are more efficient in being a, a, able to adapt to changes in their environment, whether it's incremental changes, which in some respects are all the more difficult because you can pretend that nothing's happening. Uh, we couldn't do this in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic, but also dramatic shocks. This ability to adapt more or less efficiently to changing circumstances is a source of resilience, of sustainable competitive advantage. So I think really a big hint for all of us out of this is that those organizations, those societies, those individuals who've been able in some sense to go with the flow to not only adapt but to try and make something positive this, to see this as an opportunity to, to skill up 
in the Japanese sense, um, or to embrace a new mode of living or new ways of collaboration, we'll, we'll find something positive from it. Um, a cliched expression, going forward, I kind of hate it, I cringe when I'm saying it, but, but going forward from this, uh, I do hope that uh, something positive can come out of this in terms of the way I personally approach teaching. I've been trying to move towards more, as you know, video on demand modules. That's what I'm doing here now. One of my goals is to free up more of the class time when we're back to being in a regular classroom, face to face, so we can have more interactive um, elements. One of the most enjoyable things for me this semester has actually been the drop-in sessions for Introduction to Business where I was just here in front of the camera and those 30, 40, 50 people of the class um, who wanted to drop in and have a chat. That has been incredibly rewarding uh, for me. And so I hope that we will be able to get away from the old kind of stand and deliver model, um, a live talking head, uh, which has been very much the model in universities. I know you've probably found it quite tedious to have virtual talking heads, but live talking heads can be even worse because the head is relatively small right down the front of the room when there's a whole lot of friends around you to, uh, to distract you. So hopefully we can all reflect a little bit, I mean the faculty members here, on what it is that's particularly good about the campus experience and how we can bring the technology to bear uh, to effectively allow us all to enjoy the campus dynamic and the interactive dynamic rather more and worry a little less about the information transmission dimension because after all there's not much you can't find out these days from YouTube videos or simply googling things. So anyway thank you for uh, hanging in with me this semester. Um, Looks like we're heading towards an overwhelmingly virtual semester next semester. Um, I'm only taking an advanced course and um, advanced seminars and intermediate seminars. If anyone's eligible for an intermediate seminar, it would be absolutely uh, wonderful to have you there. And certainly next year, I'm very much hoping that we'll have plenty of opportunities to interact face-to-face -to -face in relation to business or any other field of study or just to have a chat in the corridor because frankly, that's one reason why I always wanted to work in universities. So it's just a very special environment to have these free conversations that you really don't get in many other workplaces um, anywhere. So thank you very much. Keep happy. Uh, well, become happy if you're not. Hopefully keep happy. Um, make the most of the summer break uh, in this strange pandemic era. And all the best.